recipe is gonna be a pumpkin recipe. We're gonna be making a giant pumpkin cinnamon roll. You can also make these into individual ones, but I wanted to try making a large one today. As always, everything you're gonna need will be in the description box down below. Now let's get started on this recipe. Start by putting your milk in a saucepan, adding your pumpkin puree to this, and whisk it together. And then add in your sugar, and we're gonna transfer this to the stove, just warm it up. Once your sugar has dissolved and your mix is warm enough, we're gonna add our yeast to this. Make sure it doesn't boil or you will kill it. Give it about five minutes, and once it foams, we're gonna add our four cups of flour to this and combine well. And once you incorporate your flour well, we're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap, place it aside to let it rise, about double its size. It'll be about half an hour to an hour. In the meantime, combine two cups of flour with your salt, baking soda, and all your spices. All the ingredients are in the description box. Whisk it together and then place that aside. And then we're gonna do the filling. So get your butter and soften that up. Add in your granulated sugar, your brown sugar, and mix that together. Once it's well combined, I'm gonna add in all my spices to this, and then combine this all well. Once it's mixed well, place that aside, and then we're gonna get our dough that has risen, take off the plastic wrap, Add in that two cups of flour mixture, and again with the spatula, I'm going to start combining it all together. Make sure you have some extra flour on the side so you can flour your counter. It will be sticky, so have some patience and some extra flour. Once I flour my surface, I'm going to pour out the dough onto this, and I'm going to start kneading it. Once it comes together and it's springy and not sticky, we're gonna start rolling it out. So clean your surface and then get some more flour and start rolling this out. You can cut it in half and do two portions. So I did score my dough to see where I was gonna cut my strips and then I got my filling and started placing that on it. A little will go a long way. So just get something to spread out the mixture. I'm using my offset spatula. Once you've evenly spread your mixture, I'm gonna get this pastry cutter and I'm just gonna cut the strips out. I did about two inches for the width. You can go bigger or smaller depending on your pan. And then I'm just gonna start rolling up a strip just carefully, don't stretch it out or anything. And once I finish that one, I'm gonna start with the second one and just keep repeating this. Just keep rolling each strip where you left the other one off. Once it starts getting too big to roll, you can place it on your counter or in the baking pan and grab that last strip and just place it onto it. I did use half the dough to make this giant cinnamon roll and I'm gonna place it on my buttered pan. And you're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes just so you let the dough rest. And if you do half and half, it will also do another six individual size cinnamon rolls. You're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes. And once it's done and cooled a little bit, you can place this mixture on it. I did do a buttered cream cheese, pumpkin spice frosting for this. You can always make just a simple powdered sugar glaze for it. I will leave my recipe down below for this. Just cover your cinnamon roll with it.
And here's that final shot at this giant pumpkin cinnamon roll. And here's an inside look to it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to suggest something else, leave it in the comments down below. If you want to see pictures of the cinnamon roll and everything I make, I do post on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All those links are down below. If you want to keep up to date with all the recipes I post, hit the subscribe button as well. And until next time, stay sweet!